Hi, in this video I'm going to do a review on the Lift Better heating fan. So here's the box that it comes in. So right here is the heating fan. I'm just going to show you in proportion about what size it is. Put my hand on top and put my hand over here so you can see approximately dimensions. So over here is the plug that comes right in. It goes into an outlet. So over here you can see I got a twisty in there to wrap up the wire to make sure no one trips on it. So over here is the exhaust where the heat uh, comes out, the, the air comes out the back. This is the carrying handle for easy lifting and moving around and transporting to wherever you need. You know, small, compact, it's easy to keep on a desk, etc. So right here is a nice warning sign saying do not touch to make sure you don't touch this part and burn your hands. So this is the part that gets hot. And you can see over here is a small line. Uh, this uh, oscillates, that's the base. And over here are the temperature controls, and uh, not the temperature controls, here are the different controls. So over here is the knob, you can see it's all the way off, that's why it's red over here. And if you put it by the first line, the middle, that will be hot air. If you put it all the way up on top, that will be cool air. Not uh, cool as an air conditioner, but that will be like a regular fan, that will be room temperature. And over here is a button for oscillating to make it rotate back and forth. And over here is a button to switch between high fan or low fan. It automatically defaults to high fan when you turn it on, and you can just press it again to switch to low fan. So I'm going to turn it on so you can see how it works. So you turn it on, it gives you an audible beep, so you know that it's turned on, and the light changes from red to blue so you know that it's on. And if you go right here, you can see it's already hot. Uh, it only took about 2-3 two, two, seconds maximum for it to get hot, which is a really nice feature. So. Uh, to make it oscillate, we just press this button right on that side, and then you're going to see how it oscillates back and forth to help cool the room. If you want to make it not blow as high, Press the button and you hear how it got a little quieter and the fan got on the lower setting. Switch to cool, you just tilt this up and you hear that audible tone so you know it's switching to cool and you can feel it still hot but you give it a minute it will not be hot anymore. When you turn all the way down, it turns off. You notice how it stopped rotating but you can still hear it. The reason why you still hear it so it's got a safety protection feature that after uh, you use it, it stays on for an extra minute in order to cool off this front grill. Because the problem is if you're using the heat and then you turn it off and then someone can walk by right afterwards and burn themselves. So this way it will cool it off so if anyone touches it afterwards, um, it won't get hurt. Right? But right now, even though it's off, you hear it making noise so you know that you know, it's still running and you know not to touch it. So it's a pretty smart feature. It's also got tip over protection that if you turn it over like this, right, in case uh, you know, it gets kicked or someone trips on the wire, then it makes it that the heat automatically turns off. So you know, you can still see it's making noise, but that's a regular fan blowing, it's not the heat part. So thanks for watching my review on the Lift Better personal heating fan. It's nice and compact, easy to fit on the desk and gets hot nice and quick. So you can see how that noise stopped, but it's been a minute, so I finished cooling off, and now it is completely off. And now you can touch this, and you can feel that it's not hot anymore, as it completely cooled it off. Thanks for watching my review on the Lift Better Personal Heating Fan.